Hi everyone, today's story is called Olga the Brolga and it's written and illustrated by Rod Clement. How clever. The story is about Olga desperately wanting to dance, but no one will dance with her. I wonder what she's going to do. Let's find out. Olga the Brolga was in a terrible mood. She was whiny and pushy and downright rude. She jumped on the table, knocked over the tea. Will you dance with me, Dad? Please, please dance with me. Her father looked cross and straightened his paper. I'm having my breakfast, so no, maybe later. Don't ask me, said her mum. Don't ask me again, don't ask me where, don't ask me when. Now hop off the table, dance outside for a while. Go dance with your friend, the old crocodile. Ellie lay in the sun, her mouth yawning wide, her tail in the water, being lapped by the tide. Ellie! cried Olga, giving Ellie a fright. Your tummy's too big and your skin's too tight. You must dance with me. We'll go jiving and grooving. No, replied Ellie. I'm very happy not moving. Why don't you ask Joanna Jacana? I saw her dancing last night at the Club Tropicana. Olga found Joanna tired and sad, collapsed in a heap on a large lily pad. Walking on water is hard enough, but dancing on water? Boy, that was tough. Let's dance together out here on the marsh! Olga honked in a voice both loud and harsh. Not today, said Joanna barely raising her head. Maybe tomorrow, when I get out of bed. I want to dance now! I want to flap, kick and jump! Well, don't jump on me, said a small brown lump. Lily the long neck popped out her head. I'm a turtle, not a dance floor. Try a log instead. Olga rose from the deep, feeling wet and dejected. Her plans for a dance had been rudely rejected. Her shouting, her nagging had all gone unheeded. She must try something else to get what she needed. Olga stood on one leg and thought for a while, then paused and smiled, a shy little smile. She danced alone, slowly at first, then faster and faster till she thought she would burst. She kicked, she flapped, she flew through the air. Everyone passing stopped to stare. Olga stayed silent. She said not a word. Sometimes it's better to be seen and not heard. Soon a crowd gathered. They picked up the beat. There was a shuffling of feathers, a tapping of feet. As the whistling ducks whistled the latest dance tunes, Olga and friends danced all afternoon. When the sun finally set and darkness descended, they said their goodbyes and the dance party ended. Olga was tired but happy at last. She'd got what she wanted without having asked. And that's the end of the story. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed Olga the Brolga. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date as I upload new videos. Thanks again.